It's the 2K Pregame Show. And we welcome you to 2K Sports. Good to have you along, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, and this is the legendary Shaquille O'Neal. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Lakers as they go up against the Los Angeles Clippers. And taking a look here at the Clippers, coming off a loss in the first game of the season, they'll no doubt be anxious to put tonight's contest in the win column and avoid an 0-2 start. Let's talk about Blake Griffin, Shaq. Um, he's improved his shot, correct? I mean, has he shown steady improvement in your book? Yes, Ernie, that's because hours before the game, he's on the court working on his shot. He smoothed out that hitch a little bit, and Ernie, when he's hitting that shot from the outside, he is unguardable. With the game about ready to tip off, we check in with Kevin Harlan. one following a loss to the Thunder. Boy, they got punished in that third quarter. They just came out life was flat after halftime. You can't do that. Yeah, they were far too comfortable in that game. And you got to realize that this is the NBA. Everybody's got talent. Oh, no. Man, that was unreal. Mark it up. Wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will give Kevin. That was special. Oh, man, that was a circus stuff. Sets a screen for Paul. The dish to Crawford. Pick by Griffin. Out to the wing. Paul gets to Crawford. Shot clock at six. No good on his first attempt of the game. Here is Skinny. He picked up 12 points in the last 20 against Phoenix. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, this ball in bucket. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. To give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. He feeds it to Paul. Here's the three. And that one's good. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. This is a miracle, man. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Easy. Lakers last season, and this is a remarkable fact to here, folks. That was only the first in franchise history. Going all the way back to the 40s, that the Lakers had missed the playoffs. Obviously, the Lakers fans are not accustomed to missing the postseason. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Cashes in regularly. A drive by Paul, loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Paul's got seven. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. And for the Lakers last season, Steve, with the departure of Dwight Howard, you knew the team on paper had less talent, but the hope was that the chemistry would improve. And I thought it did. The chemistry was good. But they just didn't have enough talent. And when Kobe and Nash went down, it didn't matter who was out there, who was coaching. You know, it was just going to be a, a situation where they were not going to be able to win. Oh, look out! Oh, oh, oh. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump in. Five times already the lead has changed. Ball right side. Kicks to Jordan. Keep the ball. Launches it. Rebound by Kobe. Kevin, just enough presence to bother that three-point attempt there. Well, for a guy that shoots like he does, I'd say that is an easy look. Now here's Crawford. Defense is right there. Ball outside. Ball is doubled. Barnes dishes to Crawford. 13 feet away. Shots good. Could be the first of many mid-range jump shots we see from him today. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And that 
again. No good by the Lakers. The Clippers have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. And it's Paul penetrating an easy layup after coming off the pit. Paul's got nine points. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here is Skinny. Outside, Kobe. The best miracle man. Shoots. Los Angeles with another miss. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just likes the open jump. surprised by that Kevin he brings so much energy at both ends of the floor he does a lot of those little intangible things that don't always show up on the stat sheet. the first one falls and the Lakers with some changes Boozer he's checked in for King and Kelly comes in for Miracle Man and it's Jeremy Lin in for Kobe the Clippers also changing it up Spencer Hawes is checked in for Jordan Bradley comes in for Blake Griffin J.J. Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin, I caught up with Coach Doc Rivers. He said a big key for them will be containing Carlos Boozer offensively, adding he's a player who can spread the floor with his jump shot or take you down the block, and it's tough to match his strength and size. Defensively, they'll look to keep length in front of him and limit his offensive rebound. Sounds like a good game plan, guys. We'll see how they do it. Thanks, Doris. Los Angeles leading by three. And the foul on Skinny. That is his first foul of the game. One thirty-two left for the first. Ball passes to Davis. Blocked. Here is Skinny, defended by Paul. A nice shot by Lynn. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Down low, here's Reddick. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And they did just what you have to do as a road team. They need momentum to go up against them. Like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, Steve. Reverse convertibility, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses. trail. Paul kicks to Hawes. Davis setting the pick for Paul. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. And Lynn with a clear path to the hoop. That's how you make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Floor is open. Take care of business. Yeah, that's right. So you push it. That's the best opportunity for points on the break. This lead, I think, is headed north. And the shot is good. Chris Paul. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. 24 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Carson is for three. Paul grabs the board. got his first basket of the night. And the lead changes hands once again. There's been no separation between these two teams tonight. What an intriguing basketball game, that's for sure. Here's Dudley. Can't hit. Two. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. Quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. Well, they've come out of that locker room with a hot hand. Those jumpers have been falling. And they're also showing some muscle here in the first half, finding a lot of points in the main area. We've got Johnson. Hooser is out there with Davis. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's the Wizard and the shooting guard. Johnson's in the game for the Lakers. We talked about a back and 
fourth game, this is the definition of yeah, it. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the first half, man. It's been one heck of a battle. Well, these are the kinds of games you love. When two good teams go head to head, even match up. Both sides very competitive on their toes tonight. The three. Three pointer. There's the bucket. Good. State. All the points they've scored on the assist today. Beautiful to watch. Here's Lynn. With floor spacing, Steve, more important than ever in today's NBA. Some have questioned the pairing of Griffin and Jordan and the Clipper Funkle. Well, I think it's worked out just fine. I think they could add a stretch forward behind those two guys. are going with right now. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Bruce. Miracle Man comes in for Ed Davis. Bryant is checked in for Johnson. And it's Skinny in for Jeremy Lin. And then for Los Angeles, Jordan comes in for Glenn Davis. And it's Barnes in for Jared Dutton. That's good run. And that'll be for the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Let's take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. Andre Jordan, number one. I know he took a lot of pride in being at the top of that list when all was said and done. I mean, just a man among boys out there. Over to the wing. Fires for three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Starting to get a little momentum here after this scoreless first quarter. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. The drive and some very quick points for him on that possession. Crawford's got six. Boy, he could be a matchup nightmare inside the paint. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris. Well, Kevin, when Doc Rivers came to the Clippers, he wanted to shift their image from a showtime team to a true contender. Blake Griffin said, Lob City is done. And while the Clippers still make highlight reel plays with the best of them, Rivers has brought a seriousness and a focus to this team as they pursue an NBA championship. Guys? Rivers has said lobs are great, but winning is better. They're trying to get them both, of course. It's good. Even with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come. But... And that one's good. Crawford's got eight points here in this quarter. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post. They have some double team. They've got to get their defense in here. That lead should be safe if they keep shooting like this. Well, they're on fire. I mean, they're absolutely on target and looking to pad that scoring total, too. Redick, a good look. Another one falls for the Clippers. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. J.J. Redick acquired by the Clippers in the game last season. Great fit, but injuries really held him back. First surgery to repair ligaments in his wrist, then a bulged disc in his lower back. Ended up playing just 35 games in the regular season. So timeout called here in the first four Los Angeles. DeAndre Jordan leading the NBA last season in three central categories. Rebounding, slam dunks, and field goal percent. Yeah, those last two are related, of course. You look at his shot chart, and it's basically a green dot right around the basket. Pretty much all of his attempts coming right at the rim, mostly on putbacks and lobs. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Chris Kamen's checked in for Bynum. Parsons comes in for Kobe. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Skinny. Shot clock at five. And a wide open look for Lin. Shot is off. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. And for Jordan, last season with Doc Rivers coming in as coach, his role was clearly defined, laid out. That pistol clear fast. Defensive rebound. Rivers 
put high expectations within that role. We expect him to contend the defensive player of the year. Here's the Wizard. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. The Wizards got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Clippers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Paul dishes to Hawks. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Jordan playing full stars. Just about doubled his rebounds per game. He's a candidate for most improved play. That's some more rugged play from them inside. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. Outside, Lynn, out to the right wing. It's tipped and stolen by Barnes. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. That's good. Now it's a four-point clipper lead. You know, passing the ball well on the perimeter has really opened things up offensively for this club. Steven makes the game easy. I mean, 10 straight points off assist. That's impressive, but it's easy when you move the ball. We haven't seen them get to the free throw line like they did in the first quarter. Well, you can't get to the line if you're going to settle for jump shots. I mean, somebody's got to be aggressive and take it to the rack. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting. It's really helped get his team into a position they're in. Right? Good. He's got a lot of momentum going in his own game. It's been great today. As he was last time out. Los Angeles leading by four. Reddick passes to Paul. And it's Jordan to top the key. Arms screen on King. Jordan kicks to Reddick. Paul right side. And another shot. Shot's good from Hawes. Hawes got the lead up to six now for the Clippers. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. Well, it's off the charts. It really is. It? Defensively, it's a big And so that's the end of the first half. Clippers lead. improved every season. His three-point shooting is getting better. But the ability to do so many things makes him a very effective player. Lakers trailed by eight. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, Kevin, Jeremy Lin knows that an awful lot is expected of him. He said, I'm very young in my career, and because the expectations of Lin's sanity are so big and the shadow is so large, sometimes I have to take a step back and remind myself the journey has just begun. It can be hard to keep things in perspective, but gentlemen, he's trying to stay ground. And nobody certainly will ever forget Lynn's sanity, but it will be asking I think too much for Lynn to be in that zone all the time. Thank you, boys. It's good, and the quicker lead is right down to six points, and the public from skinny. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break gave him a second win. He looks fresh. And the Clippers call time here. The well, Lakers have been in a bit of turmoil. It comes back to not being able to find the right post. And the Lakers were 
some changes. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Kane. And it's the Wizard in for Miracle Man. Paul dishes to Crawford. Picks it out to Paul. Fires from deep. The putback and the dunk by Jordan. And the Clippers lead by eight. Is there any doubt what he's going to do with that putback? Flush it down. Oh, that's some energy we just witnessed right there. Uh, that's the kind of energy you need on the offensive line. That's the only way to get it done. Two coaches have been given looks since the end of the Jackson era in L.A. And needless to say, it's hard to replace a guy like that. Gets the problem. Griffin with it. Now guarded by Parsons. Griffin got his off. Easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. The shot by Bryant, no good. And for the Lakers, Steve, it's really hard to build something because there is a pressure to win now as well. I would say that taking their time and not trying to rush back to win would be the best thing that this franchise can do. Jordan with the bucket. They get it and inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula. It's really a sign that the offense is slick. And the Lakers making a change here. Losers checked in. And then for the Clippers, Davis comes in for Jordan, and Dudley subbed in for Barnes. The Wizard passes to Skinny. On the wing, Kobe. Here's the Wizard, defended by Paul. Lakers in the ball around now. Five on the clock. Bryant wants for two, and that's good. Bryant's got a second bucket tonight. He's so reliable. You know, his offense seems to be consistently there for this team. It's Crawford with the drive. Here's Griffin, and it's blocked. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes are gone. Skinny the pass to Bynum. Right wing. Pass to the Wizard. And Davis pulls it down. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. You gotta take that. Here's Boozer, and that one is stuck right through. Oh, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Riven sets the screen for Paul. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Paul's got 17 now. Can't let him that close to the basket. It's almost a guaranteed finish that he gets into the paint. An interesting statement came from the mouth of CP3 last year when he mentioned that he feels that Allen Iverson was the most influential player ever. Hmm, interesting. Most probably would have said Jordan. Thirty-one left to play in the first. That's good. And a gaping hole in the defense that time. And he didn't waste any time getting through it. There's the pass to the wizard. No good with the triple. You talk about Allen Iverson's influence. You know, Chris Paul wears the number three jersey in honor of Iverson. Paul was about ten years old when the answer started his NBA career. So huge influence. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that. And Bryant wide open and shoots again. Los Angeles. I give him credit. He didn't have much confidence going in the first half, but he's picking up the pace here. And you look at Chris Paul and Allen Iverson. What similarities do you see in there? Well, really just size. That's the only thing. Allen Iverson is a speed merchant. Chris has tremendous and deceptive speed. A little stronger more of a quarterback. AI was just a flat-out killer at the school. I mean, the guy did some amazing stuff for a long time. He was put buckets on guys like I hadn't seen a small guy do since Nate Archer. And Isaiah Thomas was similar to the real strong. Find him with the steal. Griffin's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Dudley. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got four assists now tonight. 
Here is Skinny. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer here. That's a crucial three, Cam. They've cut it close going into the fourth. They've still got a chance. Presented by State Farm. How about the creativity? Guys, terrific vision to pick out that pass and set up the basket. Some serious creativity. Chandler Parsons out there with Chris King. Then there's the Miracle Man. That's Johnson. And it's Lynn in at the point guard position. That's the Laker five. And stolen by Parsons. Outside, Lynn. Pass to Johnson. Throws it from outside. of the ball game. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Then the pass to Miracle Man. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Boy, this is shaping up to be a real barn burner. Well, I think it already is. I mean, we're going to find out which team tightens up under the pressure and which one stay poor. Paul, this is direct. The ball lets it go from deep. Up the mess with the savage put back flush. Jordan's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles. Oh, I love that aggression. Forget about the tip. Just grab the thing and slam it on. Well, what a way to get second chance points. Yeah, don't take any risks. Just put that ball back in the hoop. Los Angeles calls timeout. You know, one story that didn't get a lot of press. Two days after the blood show. Tried to back out of it. The trade was already public news. Rock Rivers actually threatened to quit. The Wizards jumped in for Miracle Man. Morris Burke has some information for us, Doris. During that break, Coach Rivers had some words for his team. With the deficit as we approach the final buzzer, he stayed up the saying, Listen, you can battle back, fellas. Just stay with me. I need all. Attacking beyond the arc. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And for JJ Reddick, that shakeup must have been tough. His contract with the Clippers was contingent on the train. And Kevin reported that Doc Rivers leaned on ownership pretty hard, saying, hey, I shook hands on this. Don't make me look bad here. My reputation's at stake. It all worked out. But he lined the Clippers rather dysfunctional path. Mm -hmm. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. But well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's time to take its toll. Pause with the rebound. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. And Reddick gets the ball. Taps in the tray. That's demoralizing. He needed to stop there, and instead, he gave up two points on an open look. for the Lakers last season. It's one thing to stink on the road. But you stink at home in Los Angeles. <laughs> Some changes here for the Lakers. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Kane. Bryant comes in for Wesley Johnson. And it's skinny in for Jeremy Lin. And the Clippers with the change here too. Griffin's checked in. They get it back. Skinny the pass to Parsons. And here's Kobe for three. Los Angeles with another miss. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. Now, the Dean may have done just enough there, Clark, to bother him and throw that shot off. And what a strange sight it was to see the Lakers lose at home as much as they did last year, Clark. The home record staples 14 and 27. Yeah, that is a rarity, without question. One of the elite sports franchises in the history of pro sports in America. But they didn't have the talent to compete and not having Kobe Bryant the best player in the future Hall of Fame. Obviously, left a lot to be desired. They fought hard, they just didn't have enough to compete on it. Bigger than the one right there. Skinny the pass to the Wizards. And three pointers right on target. The Wizards got a couple of three pointers now in the fourth for Los Angeles. Los Angeles calls timeout. And when you take a look at what the story of the glass has been, it's passing some of the pass. Yeah, you said it. tremendous presence. You're right. It definitely has been. And it might come down to the final 
Croft, he's checked in for the Clippers. Complete domination. What a game for Skinny. 18 points and 8 down. That's pretty much unguardable. Arthur. He has just been fantastic. Oh, it's been a stupendous performance, no doubt. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. The other thing that's been huge for them is their points in the paint. They're getting the ball inside and converting on a regular basis. And Jalen Jordan pulls it down. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. No doubt, Clark. Their teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. And what a play to make it the close to the attention of the man goal.